Hello Internet, my name is Mark Rojas and today I'm going to be using InDesign to show you how to make your own printable business card. So let's get started. Never leave home without your business card. You never know when you're going to run into some a potential employer or drop it in a box to win free lunch. But just kidding on that last one. Anyway, the basic components of a business card are your name, your title, maybe where you live, and the contact information that this employer could reach you at. And then if you have a logo or a photo, you could throw that in right there and uh, help big build recognition. All right, first things first. Once you downloaded the template, go ahead and open it up in InDesign. It has all these cool guides that I've already meticulously set up for you to know where to cut once it's finished printing. Now let's talk about the look of your business card. You want to make sure that you pick a good font, which leads me into my next discussion. Fonts. There are two basic type of fonts. You have your sans serif and your serif fonts. Okay. Some of the better ones, in my opinion, are Georgia and Minion Pro, and then Futura and Interstate are some that I quite frequently use. For a business card, you kind of want to stay away from those novelty fonts like um, Comic Sans and, and Impact, unless you're trying to make a weird statement about yourself and professionalism. Okay. So the first steps in making your business card is you want to make a text box for all your information. So for that, we're going to go to the toolbar on the left side of the screen and find our T tool, which is the text tool. And you're going to select that. Then you're going to drag out a box in the following the template. After your text box is made, get ready to start plugging in all your information. Hit return once to give your name some space. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to em put emphasis on my name and also change the typeface that I will be using for th this business card. Instead of times like the default is on my computer, I'm going to select Garamond. As, and it's important that you kind of stick with one font for such a small piece of work. Uh, but that doesn't mean you can't change the, um, the weights and the styles of it. So, for example, I'm making my name big, and I'm going to make um, my title right now is still set to that big font, but I'm going to select all of it, and I'm going to change some um, the weight and the size. So I went from a, a bigger type size to a smaller type size, and I'm also going to make it italic, just for a change of pace. The rest of the information that you use on the business card is completely up to you. I put my location just because I'm still in Chico. If you want to uh, omit that information, feel free. You can put your phone number, your email address. If you have a website or an online resume, feel free to put that on your business card. It doesn't hurt. I've also seen a few business cards where instead of a logo or a picture, they have QR codes that link to those online resources. Right. Once you finish inputting all your information, select all the text and go up to give it an indent. See where I'm pointing? S click in there and make your indent a little bit bigger because before it was resting on the guides where you are going to be making cuts. Next thing is placing that piece of imagery that you have selected, either a logo or a photo or a QR code. So you go to File, Place, Find your document, Open, and get ready to click and drag out a box for it. Move it where you want it to be and don't be worried about the way it looks right now because the default on InDesign is the display might be to a lower resolution. For that, you want to right click on it and it brings up this menu. Right click, drop down to um, display performance and go ahead and change it to high quality display to get a better look of how the end result is going to be. Next we're going to be grouping our text and our image together to make multiple copies of the same exact content in the same exact spacing for the rest of the template. So what you do is you go you select both of your objects and you go to object group and it makes a group for you. Grouping is important because it will allow you to make copies of the business card fast and easy. Using that black pointer tool on your right 
um, toolbox, you will be able to make copies by sh holding Shift and Alt and dragging it out. Repeat the process until you filled up your page, and that's it. If you have any questions, please comment below or send me an email. That's it right there, rojas.mark2 at gmail.com. Thank you very much.